What if we could have a drug for every known disease in the world? Would you believe me if I said that it is possible in the near future? Stay tuned as we explore all the fantastic developments made possible by scientists assisted with powerful AI tools. Generative AI took the world by storm in 2022 with its powerful text and image generators. But did you know that the technology also has the potential to revolutionize healthcare by streamlining drug discovery and curing diseases? By analyzing large data sets, we can identify patterns and create treatment plans that take into account a patient's medical history and symptoms. Generative AI can also improve the accuracy and efficiency of medical imaging techniques and can be used to design targeted public health initiatives. It usually takes about five years to create a new drug, but thanks to the power of generative AI, we can make revolutionary new drugs in just a year. In addition, generative AI algorithms can speed up the process of identifying and testing potential drug candidates using computer simulations, helping to bring new treatments to market more quickly. Creating a new medication is a challenging task that involves meeting a specific criteria for potency and specificity towards targeted areas, as well as physical and chemical characteristics. Therefore, traditional methods, which involve manually selecting and testing potential molecules from a vast pool of options, could be more efficient. In contrast, generative AI models can quickly and efficiently generate novel biologically active molecules that can be synthesized, making them a popular choice in drug development. Generative AI technologies like Generative Adversarial Networks, also known as GANs, and diffusion models can be used to identify new chemical compounds that may have therapeutic properties. In addition, these models can analyze large datasets of existing drugs and identify patterns that suggest which combinations are most likely to be effective in treating specific conditions. Experts predict that by 2025, over 30% of new medications will be discovered using this groundbreaking technology. Let's take a deeper look at some of the methods used. Generative Adversarial Networks GANs have been used in drug discovery to generate novel chemical structures that are likely to have desirable properties. For example, Accentia, a UK startup, and Sumitomo Dainippon Pharma, a Japanese pharmaceutical company, have jointly developed a drug called DSP-1181 for the treatment of obsessive compulsive disorder OCD, using artificial intelligence. The development process involved searching through potential compounds and checking them against an extensive database using algorithms, which took only 12 months. Accentia is also working on potential drugs for cancer and cardiovascular disease and aims to have another molecule ready for clinical trials this year. There are billions of decisions needed to find the right molecules, and it is a huge decision to precisely engineer a drug," said Accentia Chief Executive Professor Andrew Hopkins when interviewed about the breakthrough. But the beauty of the algorithm is that they are agnostic, so they can be applied to any disease," he added. By the end of the decade, all new drugs could potentially be created by AI. Diffusion Model Technology Diffusion models are commonly employed to create synthetic data for training machine learning models, with image generator DAL-E2 as a notable example. These generative models have proven themselves to be powerful tools and are now being utilized in drug discovery. Several research teams are trying to use diffusion technology in healthcare to find new treatments for diseases. One company called Generate Biomedicines and a team from the University of Washington are using diffusion-based models to design proteins with specific characteristics and functions. The models work in different ways. Generate Biomedicines puts together random chains of amino acids to form a new protein, guided by specific rules set by the researchers. The University of Washington model starts with a scrambled structure. Then, it uses information about how the pieces of a protein should fit together, provided by another AI system trained to predict protein structure. The University of Washington model has already found a protein that can attach to a hormone that controls calcium levels in the blood better than existing drugs. Another team at OpenBioML has developed a system called DNA Diffusion that can generate specific DNA sequences that influence the expression of certain genes in an organism. 
For example, this system can create DNA sequences based on instructions like a sequence that will activate a gene to its maximum expression level in cell type X, or a sequence that activates a gene in the liver and heart but not in the brain. While generative AI shows great potential in drug discovery, other use cases in healthcare are also starting to emerge. By analyzing a patient's medical history, symptoms, and other relevant factors, generative AI algorithms could create customized treatment plans tailored to an individual's specific needs. Another potential application of generative AI in healthcare is in the improvement of medical imaging. Using machine learning techniques in conjunction with medical imaging technologies like CT and MRI scans makes it possible to accurately and efficiently detect and diagnose medical conditions. This could lead to earlier and more effective treatment of diseases and conditions, ultimately improving patient outcomes. Generative AI could also be used to improve population health management by accessing more detailed demographic information, generative AI algorithms could help design targeted public health initiatives that benefit underserved communities. This could lead to a more effective and equitable distribution of healthcare resources, resulting in better population-level health outcomes. Lastly, we have to mention how generative AIs are able to produce text that is almost indistinguishable from human writing and may soon be able to write entire research papers, including literature reviews. This raises the question of whether the human using the system should even be considered an author. It definitely frees up some time. Thanks for watching our video on the use of generative AI in medical research. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon for more videos on the latest developments in this exciting field.